Greetings, my lovely, lovely Libras. Welcome. Welcome, Libra. All right, Libra, if this is your first time visiting my channel, thank you for joining me today. I invite you to become a member of the tribe by clicking that subscription button. And for those of you returning Libras, thank you so much for your presence here today. I appreciate your ongoing support. I appreciate your loveliness. I love the comments that you leave me. You guys are amazing, Libra. All right, Libra, what we're here to do today is get you some messages regarding love and relationships. Keep in mind, Libra, this is a general reading. So if you find that these messages don't absolutely resonate with your situation, don't force them and don't panic. All that means is you need to make sure if you haven't already that you, you hit that subscription button and mash that notification bell so that when your message drops within the next few days, you're the first one to know about it, Libra. All right. All right. Spirit, let's get some messages on the board for my beautiful Libra souls. What can they expect coming at them in the next few days? Next few days up to a week regarding love and relationships. What can they expect to see? All right. Let's see what we got here. All right, Libra, your, your first message comes by way of the Six of Swords in the reverse, followed by the Four of Cups. We then have the Six of Wands in the reverse. And our overall energy that we have here crowning the reading, Libra, is the Nine of Pentacles, or not pentacles, the nine of wands in the reverse. So Libra, with this nine of wands in the reverse, I'm just seeing very strongly here that many of you are not, um, you are not putting up the proper boundaries in your relationships in general, but in particular in a love relationship. You may be involved in a codependent relationship in which there are no boundaries or the boundaries are very blurry. And this is causing you a lot of emotional disturbance here as, you know, you're not willing to walk away from this connection, but there's literally no boundaries here which regulate how things happen in this connection. So there's a lot of energy of disappointment. Um, and for many of you with this four of cups here, this is an energy of just feeling complacent. Like you're complacent in the connection that you're in. All right. You want to be engaged. You want to feel the passion and the love and you want to feel like, um, everything that we stereotypically think of when we think of love and relationships and how they should flow, right? You want those things. However, you're, you're not feeling it. Like naturally it's not there. Some of you are trying to tell others, even your partner or tell yourself that yeah, I'm happy. This is it. This is good. This is where I need to be. This is where I want to be. But what I'm seeing coming your way in the next few days here is just blaringly obvious signs and bl like the divine will be pushing you to the, I don't want to say to the breaking point, but the divine will be pushing you hard, like shoving you in order to make you see that you're not happy here. There is a lot missing from this connection. The lack of boundaries is making this connection untenable. Your refusal to stand up for yourself correctly and to create and maintain those boundaries is causing yourself a lot of distress and heartache. 
in the long run here. Like you'll end up, in other words, if you don't do something quickly about this boundaryless connection that you're in, you will end up in a situation where you will be very hurt and you will feel lost and the connection will end and you will feel as if you lost touch with very important parts of yourself, right? So in other words, the way this connection is going currently with the six of wands and the reverse is there's no winners here in this connection. Not you, not the person that you're with. It's It doesn't feel like it doesn't feel like a situation where you're being loved and adored and set up on a pedestal. You, I feel, can't even set that partner up on a pedestal properly because this connection is lacking. And again, because spirit is like saying it over and over and driving this point home and making me drive this point home to you, it, the key the very key cause of all of this is the lack of boundaries between you and your partner. Okay. That has to be addressed immediately. If there is even a chance to make this connection, what it is, some of you have reconnected with a past person and because, um, okay, I'm going to use a strong word because of a feeling of being desperate for their love for some of you, for some of you, this has caused you to accept anything from them. Therefore, no boundaries again. And this is a recipe for disaster because behind the scenes, the energy that you don't see is this five of cups. It is the disappointment. It is the regret. At the end of the day, when you look back on all of this, you'll be regretful that you didn't have those strong boundaries, that you didn't stand up for yourself in the way that you should have. Also, you're going to find that this person turns on you at some point if you continue on this way and they um, basically are willing to walk away saying there's nothing of value here. Imagine that, Libra, like taking your love for granted, your connection for granted. So you're at a very critical place here in your connection and you need to take action on this. And believe me, when you try to reset or set boundaries after there's been none, you will meet up with resistance from this person, your partner. You'll meet up with resistance because even though they might end up like this at the end of the day, right now their mindset is, how dare you try to do something new now? Like we've been going along like this. Now you want to put up a boundary? There will be resistance. You have to fight through that resistance create the boundaries because you Libra have to know that that is the only thing that's going to make your connection successful at this point. All right. Everything is kind of falling away and falling to hell. The boundaries is the starting point at re at reconnecting and reestablishing something of value with your partner. It's really, really, really important that you dive into that work at this time. Don't ignore that message. Okay, Libra? I wish you all the best. And for those of you Libras, before you leave out, if you have not already subscribed to my channel, please do so. I so want you as part of my tribe. And until next time, Libra, take care.